I've got them installed in there this way. This was about the easiest way I could do it. It travels a bit short on them, so by doing it, uh, mounting them, mounting them this far back, I was able to get it so the tail of the trailer drops about a half inch below ground level, just in case uh, you're on some sort of lumpy ground or whatever. So it's kind of a neat idea. Like it does work. We're cool. It's not going to slam down and drive a machine on it. And I think he's going to put some sort of a, um, like a uh, control valve in here just to, uh, uh, probably like an air valve or something, just to be able to control the amount of fluid that flows. And uh, I'm guessing you'll have to have a tank if he does that, but maybe not. You can see there's some air goes through the cylinders there. It's obviously, there's more more volume on one side of the piston than there is on the other, so it's, it is slightly different, but whether that's a problem or not, I don't know, but that's the way they came, so that's the way I stuck them on. This trailer here is uh, set up like the first one I made a couple years ago, a year and, I don't know, year and a half ago, however long ago that was. It's got uh, two formerly known as Fergelli actuators, and now Actonix, I think it's pronounced. I don't know, I have a hard time with that one, not really sure, but I think that's how it's pronounced. But I um, was able to use their actuators in it, and um, it works pretty cool. I, I like this myself. I think it's kind of neat. It's a bit of a pain in the ass if you're trying to drive the machine up there and tilt the deck at the same time, but it can be done. I did it before with the other one, so it, um, anyway, it works good. You don't have to worry about having the deck creep one way or the other. I got it so that it just goes past ground level. A tiny bit fast, quarter inch or so. Should be plenty, I think. These things have quite a bit of power. I use the same actuators as I used before, 210 to 1 ratio, L12s or whatever. And uh, when I used them in the previous trailer, which was almost the same as this one, there it lifted the my 955 110 scale model, which is about 20 pounds, it lifted that no problem. So I think any any of the 114th scale track loaders or whatever should lift it no problem. 